A powerful earthquake has struck Turkey and the Greek islands, killing at least 22 people and leaving more than 700 others injured. The tremor triggered a tsunami which flooded streets as rescuers were trying to pull survivors from the rubble. As the earthquake strikes the Turkish coastline, a seven-storey apartment block crumbles. This scene repeated up to 20 times. As buildings throughout Izmir, Turkey's third largest city, were flattened by the impact of the magnitude 7 earthquake. <laughs> Residents who didn't have time to run now trapped under rubble. The effort to save them began immediately. <laughs> Rescue was alerted to this survivor after spotting a hand digging into the wreckage to pull them clear. But as the wounded were taken to hospital, there was another emergency unfolding. At the water's edge, the sea suddenly sucked back. Boats on their side stranded in mud, but the confusion among locals wouldn't last long. <laughs> Mini tsunamis swept through streets, tables and chairs, even fridges torn from cafes. The floodwaters claiming more lives. Tens of thousands of people on the streets of Warsaw. For what organizers say is the largest of nine days of protests against a near total ban on abortions in Poland. Despite a strong security presence and coronavirus warnings, protesters ignored the government's stay at home order. Protest organizers were threatened with prison sentences but say they won't be deterred by conservative anti-abortion rights groups or their powerful political allies. A recent constitutional court ruling further tightened Poland's already strict abortion laws, banning it in cases of severe fetal deformities. Terminations are now only legal in cases of rape, incest or if the mother's life is at risk. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Mr. Bond, I Known suppose for his trademark to, uh... lisp and reputation as a rugged ladies' man. Looks like you're out to get me. He brought James Bond to life, and the role catapulted him to superstardom. <laughs> but Sean Connery's upbringing was far from the glamour of Hollywood. Born in Edinburgh in 1930, his father was a lorry driver and his mother worked as a cleaning lady. Connery had a range of jobs in his youth, including a stint in the Navy and time as a milkman. His weightlifting hobby earned him a place in the Mr. Universe competition in 1953, where he was spotted by a casting director. I think you got the point. Connery was the first actor to bring Ian Fleming's secret agent to the big screen. He starred in six Bond movies, including such classics as Thunderball, From Russia with Love, and Goldfinger. His imposing six foot two stature and suave manner made him a natural in the role. This was a scene moments before the main opposition presidential candidate in Zanzibar was arrested. Malim Saif Sharif Hamad had just called for mass protests in Tanzania's semi-autonomous island region, citing widespread irregularities in Wednesday's poll. He was heading to the town square when police intercepted him and other party leaders. Protesters who had started gathering were also dispersed. Others were beaten up as phone video shows. For the most part, streets remained empty and many shops closed. People are afraid of a violent confrontation with security forces following claims that police shot and killed several protesters in another island. Ruling CCM party presidential candidate Dr. Hussein Mwinyi was later declared winner with 76% of the vote by the Zanzibar Electoral Commission.
We received intelligence uh, by the police who then informed the Sun Park's Environmental Crime Investigative Unit that was about a car that had contraband and was going to leave through the Paul Kruger gate. When the police tried to stop the driver, he sped off but was stopped outside the gate. There were two passengers with the driver, and after a search, a pair of rhino horns was found in their possession. They were then taken into custody and appeared in court on the 22nd of October. Yesterday, they made another appearance for a bail application. The federal government has released new immigration targets, and they've been set higher despite the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, it's because of the pandemic's impact, particularly on the economy, that the federal government wants to bring in a record number of newcomers. Here is a look at the previous plan compared to the new plan unveiled today. In 2021, the government is now aiming to add 401,000 new permanent residents and 411,000 in 2022. Trial operations went smoothly, ticketing machines are printing, and the underground rail station is working too. After years of delays and billions of dollars over budget, Berlin's new Brandenburg airport is finally ready for takeoff. Operators had to overcome a lot of turbulences to get there. The airport's construction started back in 2006, but technical issues and mismanagement have delayed its opening by nearly a decade. They include faulty fire protection systems, wrong layering of 90 kilometers of cables, bankruptcies of construction firms, and even corruption charges against former managers. The balance sheet of countless mishaps, $7 billion, or three times its original price tag. America has smashed its daily COVID-19 record, racking up almost 100,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. One of the hardest hit areas is the Midwest, where Donald Trump and rival Joe Biden headed for a campaign blitz. Tim Avia has the latest. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, a hero's welcome. The president hoping his rallies can supercharge his campaign across the Midwest and overcome polling that has him behind. Joe Biden joining the Midwestern barnstorm. I've dealt with guys like Trump my whole life, so have you. Visiting three states in one day, the most he's done during the campaign so far. And on a day when the US surpassed 9 million COVID-19 cases. 